you don't book. But it is a way to put a book together, and all you need are scissors and paper. No stapler. No staples. Have you ever tried to put a stapler out for the students to use? <laughs> yes. It's like either a hundred staples are in everything, and then it gets jammed, yes, and you get your yes, scissors, and yes. you're digging out the staples. <laughs> That's true. And That's so true. So you teach zero staples. You, zero staples. You teach okay. kids how to make a burrito book. They got. They can make their books. If you say, "Hey, let's, we need a journal, a plant journal," or we're going to publish our books in burrito book, they just yeah. give them paper, come get out their scissors. They can make a book. Let's make it. Let's so are do you it. ready for this? I this think I'm ready. This is a burrito book. So you all can right. take as many pieces. They really all, you'll find out why, but they really all need to be the same color. So same color of sheets. We have, I have Little four. Yellow. I have four. You can use however many you want. Okay, I have four but also. I have four. All right, so this is the first thing you need to do then. Okay. All the pieces together in half. We haven't got to the burrito yet. But we <laughs> we're this. still on the burrito. All right. right. Now, you could just go from here and have a rectangle book. But we're going to have a little fun. We are going to make a bus book. Here's one oh, students made darling. after a field trip. They wrote, uh, they each had a picture, and then they made these burrito books. Very cute. And, and wrote and drew about the field trip. So let's do a bus book. So what you need to do is trace, when you get to the this point, you need to trace a shape or cut out a shape. Fold your paper back in half and then cut out the shape okay. from this side. So I'm just going to just kind of... I'm going to freehand my bus. How about that? I'm going to go over it quickly, quick little bus shape. So they could draw... They could draw their own shape. It could be a shoe or a barn or a pumpkin. What you need to remember is it needs to have a long straight edge on it. Okay. One side needs to be on that top straight part. edge. Yes, okay. And so then on this top, they could... If I say the top part, what I mean is that the fold then, that long to part. Put in. My driver. Okay, so I've added a few windows. Now what are we doing next? Now that. Okay. So. Alright, so then you get kind of the shape and you want you want to use up just as much of the paper as you can, have one long straight edge. Alright. So whatever you whichever shape you choose, it needs a long straight edge. And then you just cut out. You don't want to cut out along the top here. You want to just cut out around the sides. And around the bottom. In this case, around our wheels. Kind of well, you bus. could do this though with, uh, as you mentioned, all different shapes. The wheels. As long as you have that long part on top. Right. It would be the great for shape. a pumpkin book, like you mentioned. Even right. different animals you could make that way. Okay, now what? All right, so you have that cut out, and then you just take off the top sheet, just one sheet. All right. One page. Set the others aside. Okay. What we're going to do on this top page is cut a slit right in the middle of that fold. So the easiest way to do that is to just kind of roll it around this and make a little pinch at the fold. Make a pinch at the fold, and then I'm cutting along the fold to about an inch, about an inch to the edge. So that it looks like it's sort of that. the center section out of it. But you have to be careful you don't cut all the way across. You don't want to cut all the way across. In fact, whenever I do this with children, I have a lot of little pieces of scotch tape handy. Uh, because yes, I see why. Um, I see why. If they cut through, it won't work. Yes. And so uh, scotch tape, it fixes it automatically. It's no big deal. Okay. No, that is just one sheet. I will have you know I managed not to cut mine all the way. I didn't, and yay, I didn't okay. Pam did not cut her so we Put this scotch tape away. We don't need it this <laughs> no scotch time. Tape. Not right now, right. anyway. So that's just one of the pages. Set that aside and take all of the other pages, all of the other ones, and on that fold, we're going to cut a slit on each end. On that fold. Oh, see, I was not, I just then I was not going to follow your directions, and I was going to do the same thing I did on the first page. But now I see. I'm this glad is you're listening, Pam. Ooh, I'm glad you're I was almost along in listening. trouble on that one. Okay. So, yeah, so make sure right on that fold, it's about an inch. Got it. All right, now are you ready for the burrito? Yeah. This is the burrito. 
with those slits okay. on the sides, you roll this piece of paper, all of these sheets, into a... What does that look like? Well, it sure looks like a burrito to me. You take the burrito, all and right. now you get your you, the front of the book, okay. and you put the burrito just right right up through that hole. Put it right through the hole. You wiggle it around so the front of the bus matches and the back of the bus matches. Yes. And what it, what will happen is it will notch together. I see. It notches together and oh, voila, what you have is a bound book. All of those pages That's are a burrito book. Are, what I like about these books, there's like no staple book. Yes. They open up nice and yes. flat. They're, they're bound. That's so great. show us a couple uh, finished examples. So let's look at this. I get this um, which field trip. Okay, I have the to bus. say it's a little cuter than that. <laughs> oh no, yours is pretty darn cute. Mine, mine has a large <laughs> rear end on my, on my bus. A larger <laughs> end. A there larger it end. Yes, it All does. Right. But it's, it's you cute. You also don't don't have to cut out that shape when we it's, folded it's, it in half. You don't have to cut out the shape. It could just be an oblong book. Sure. Like that. And then they actually cut out lined paper yes. to do their writing. And just for the added touch, you don't have to have it. But that's just uh, painter's tape. Just to make it look just to it looks, it up a little bit. It looks bit, like huh? a bound book. Doesn't that look? And here's another cute and one. And they could make their own. This is a this shape one of is a, a butterfly. Shape one. See the butterfly. I love it. And then inside they wrote a butterfly. Really easy way to make a book. Burrito book. Have fun.